Hey guys, welcome back to Cajun Hard Talk. I'm Jake and Ross. Today we're talking about 2008's prom night. Shh. So grab a beer, grab a cup of coffee. Let's, let's talk, talk horror. horror. Alright guys, prom night from two thousand eight. Oh yeah. Oh got two thousand eight. Got a little extra got background little extra, noise for you. Guys. Extra intro music there. <laughs> um I don't know why I thought I had to press the button to turn it back off. I don't, I don't know. I've all, we've only been doing this for a year. Yeah, you think you'd fucking know by now, but apparently yeah. not. Apparently no, you, you do not. All right, prom like night, two thousand eight. Uh, back uh, on our our uh kick of remakes for the month yeah. of October. Welcome to our, what are we calling it? Did we We've ever never established a name. We've like never our, made a fucking name. Like a Halapalooza or something stupid like that. Hey guys, give us some suggestions. Give us a the, name of what the fuck we're going to call this because it's going to be it's going to be named something. Yeah, so as a reminder, um, this is going to be um, all remakes. Every day we're dropping a video the month of October. So With the exception of Fridays, which we is we're going to continue our franchise Fridays, but every other video that we drop in October is going to be a remake. Yep, uh, leading up to October 31st, which is going to be the remake of Halloween. <sighs> Rob Zombie's Halloween. Oh, it's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I enjoy Rob Zombie's Halloween. It's going to be fun. Except for the first 20 minutes. Jesus Christ. Um, All right. Also, before we get started, too, uh, make sure you all like, subscribe, follow, all the things. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Marty McFly. Marty McFly, one my of, man. Our guy that uh, he, he's probably one of the most active pe- persons in the comments. Uh. He, uh, he also has a YouTube channel. Y'all check him out. I'll put the link in the description below to get to his YouTube channel. Go check him out. He does a bunch of interesting stuff on yeah, there. Yeah, show Marty some love. That's it. All right, guys. So, runtime, one hour, 28 minutes for prom night. Yeah. Made on a budget of $20 million and gross $57 million. What the fuck did they spend $20 million on in this movie? Actors. Jesus Christ. They, they Brittany Snow got plays coupons. Brittany Snow plays Donna. They probably played Idris Elba $15 million. Yeah, yeah. Scott Porter plays Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Jessica Stroop plays Claire. Dana Davis plays Lisa. Collins Panic plays Ronnie. Callie Blatt plays Michael. James Ransom plays Detective Nash, which that's your boy from uh, Candyman. That in chapter two. Yeah, no shit. I didn't yeah. think about that. I immediately yeah. think of him from the upcoming uh, Candyman that I can't yep. fucking wait for. Uh, Idris Elba plays Detective Wynn. Jonathan... Shake plays Richard Fenton. Jessalyn Gilsig plays Aunt Karen. And Lyndon Ashby plays Uncle Jack. Lyndon Ashby is one of those character actors you see in everything. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He, he's, he, you look at him, you're like, oh, yeah, he's that guy from everything. He's, the, he's that guy. You remember yeah. that guy? He's that guy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, and start off this with a rant really quickly. Okay. For the love of God, Hollywood, would you please stop with the long ass intros? I don't mind long intros. Your intro should not last an entire fucking song. And I know that Rob Zombie is going to hear this podcast and he's going to make his next movie and it's going to be it's Free a throwback. Bird. It's going to be Free Bird for seven minute the 80s. intro. Jesus Christ, stop with the long intros. It's a throwback, dude. No, it I don't mind it at fu- all. This is a remake. Do better. It's, no. It's paying I, homage. I, I, I immediately lost interest. I was like, Jesus Christ, how long is this fucking intro? Aww. Aggravated the shit. I felt, ass, I, I felt like my dad at that moment. Love, I'm just so aggravated with the, with the long intro. I love long intros now though because get it gives to, me ch- it gives me time to throw up IMDb and then I get to hurry up and write down all my notes. So we'll see us of us of that uh, us of us that come out prepared. We do that shit before we press play, yeah. So we could pay attention to shit because usually things interesting things happen. Not a fucking song that lasts for three damn minutes. I don't mind long intro. Oh, it aggravated it, me. It, 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 is what it, it is. bothered the shit out of me. All right, so the plot of this movie is Donna. Donna, no. Um, has a teacher named um, pedophile. Yeah, oh, Richard Fenton. Uh, Fenton, sorry. Yeah, and he is obsessed with Donna because he's a pedophile. so much so that he goes to her house to kill her family and take her, but she is not home. She comes home in the act, while he's in the act of killing her family. Yeah, she comes home from the movies. His original plan was apparently to kidnap her from the movies, but then he didn't find her, so he went to her house and decided to kill all her family, so she'd have no one left to turn to, and she would turn to him out of necessity. Yes. Didn't happen. Fantastic plot. That that's great because that's what that's what true love starts with murder. Murder. I think that was uh, was it Ted Bundy he said if you love something let it go if it doesn't come back you hunt it down and kill it. 
<laughs> oh, I want to say that I want to say that was Ted Bundy. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was a serial killer quote. I don't remember. Who that's fantastic. Was. I think it was Ted Bundy. But no, that's a fantastic plot, man. <laughs> it, no, and the, he breaks out of the insane asylum to go get plot, it for her. Uh, the plot wise, prom? Was yeah, the plot wise was fucking that's great. fucking fantastic. Can we not like how creepy is this going to be? Like everybody looks at these teen slashers and like they're sorority girls and they're eighteen and like they always have this like genuine like this general sexiness vibe type of thing going on. She was fucking 13 when this originally happened. Yeah, dude. She was 13 years old because yeah. she's like, well, she was 13 or 14 because you figure she's 17. She's a senior in high school. This is a grown ass man who's going after a fucking barely a teenager. Yeah. You got some fucking issues. There's some sickos out there, bro. Son of a They got some bitch. sick motherfuckers out there. Damn, that's creepy as fuck. Um, I always hate that. I like the realism of this plot. It is. It does have a because it's there's some crazy motherfuckers that do ridiculous shit. Um, I I hate the ones where she's underneath the bed and watches her mother die. I hate that. My initial instinct, and of course, is me being me, not taking anything away from the movie because I know people uh, handle stress a lot of different ways. But fuck you, two of us can pin you down. Right. Like I, I still got mom here. She's gonna fight with me. We're gonna fucking pin you down and fuck you up. She's also thirteen, bro. A thirteen year old female against a man with a knife. I no, and that's why I'm saying this from my perspective only, not from movies. People react differently to stress yeah. for one. That's why a lot of people uh, make the comment about like in the uh, Jason or the Michael Myers movies where they kind of freeze in shock. Yeah. That's a real fucking thing. People people lock up because they don't yeah. know what to fucking do. My wife. Like, why is he just standing there? Because he's scared shitless. Yeah. He doesn't know. There's a large guy with a mask trying yep. to stab him. You know what's funny, though? There's a, there's that that uh, that hypocrisy that goes into that, though. Because if a dude does it, you're like, oh, quit being a bitch. But if a chick does it, he's like, eh, that happens. That's very true. That's very true. Because every horror movie we will watch, because I'm like, dude, you're going to sit there and let your girlfriend get killed? The Halloween fuck is Resurrection, wrong with you? the dude with the fucking camera stand? Yeah. He just you, sat there and accepted his fucking feet. You're a bitch, dude. You, you fucking go out swinging something. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Dude, if, if a serial killer gets me, they're going to find pieces of his skin in my fucking mouth because I'm going to bite that oh, bitch if I have to. Fingernails? I don't care. I'm yeah. doing something. I'm scratching. I'm biting. I'm fucking kicking everything. My daddy always told me, if you fight and fair, you're not trying. That's it. Fuck that. That's you're it. trying to kill me? We, it, fuck you. We, we gonna, All right. You're going to know. Here's the thing. <laughs> this movie and also... What other movie that we watched recently? I don't fuck oh, with medicine cabinet mirrors. Dude, who does that, though? Jesus Christ. What, why is that such a big horror trope? It's always a fucking medicine cabinet Here's mirror. Here's the thing. I don't fuck with them. There's, you'll notice <laughs> there's none in my house. No shit, there isn't. No. There isn't one. I will never own one. My mom and dad had one in our, in our in like the, uh, we call it the kids' bathroom. It was me and my two brothers' bathroom. Yeah. I would turn my head if I closed it. I know, but what random people... Because like I won't if, look in a minute. I will if not, you're not a serial killer, don't sneak up behind your friends and stand in the mirror. No. I, I don't understand why people keep no. doing that in these movies. I, I would do it to my wife. Yeah, that's probably best if you don't yeah. have one because you'll, you'll wind up being stabbed or yeah. shot or something. But if you notice, there's no there's no mirrors on a cabinet door. There's no <laughs> mirrors on a door at, at all. Yeah. I, I don't fuck with that, dude, because that's that every Horror scene. movies done fucked you up. Bro. Yeah, dude. Because... You no, know it fucked me up the first time for it. There's a couple of different movies that did it, but it really fucked me up. You haven't watched this Phantasm. At the oh, end, I seen it. fucked me up. You know, those of you that watch Phantasm, y'all gonna know what I'm talking about. All right. I don't fuck with Madison Cabinet. Man. Here's something I hate, and we shit on it. Uh, it was one of our many rants about fucking Twilight. It's something that I hate that they do in these movies is the dream sequence fake out. They do it twice in this movie. And I fucking hate it. I can't stand the dreams because she's talking to the therapist, so she's recounting yeah. the fucking thing. I, I get it. I understand it. I don't like it. I just, I don't. But it's I, what it feel, happened. But it feels cheesy to me. It always feels. But it explains to you exactly what happened. It too. always feels cheap to me. It's like a cheap way to get a fucking jump scare shoved in there somewhere. It always just like, do, do something different. Do something original. Try something, a different way of explaining. I like it. It's lit, it slid a little scare in there while explaining the whole backstory of the movie. Uh, no, I understand it's necessity, but there's other ways. There has to be another way to, to uh, do I that. I didn't care for it. I'm not a big fan of the Here's dream sequence. Here's my thing out. I'm not a big fan of. They're $100,000 over budget for our prom. Yeah, okay. I don't know what high school you guys are going to. Who? But I, I don't think our prom costs nearly half of that I'm, at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I got sure. married for less than that. And I got I got married and divorced for less than that. <laughs> I was married and divorced for less than a hundred thousand dollars, guys. I don't. What the fuck is going on at this prom? Yeah, dude, we live in a country, though, man. I, my my wedding was fifteen hundred bucks. Dude, I paid nine hundred bucks for the hall. Yeah, yeah, and we had all our family all and friends cooked. Yeah, like, that's it, what we did. We did potluck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the hundred grand 
over budget for our yeah. fucking prom. What was the budget is what I want to know because you dude, went over that. I'm pretty sure there are Trump rallies that cost less than that. Dude, that's you got to imagine. What if their fuck? even if their budget was small, like 50, and you're 100,000 over it. 50,000, though. Could you imagine 50,000 for a fucking you prom? You can buy a house. This is one night. I know it's supposed to be the greatest night of your lives. It gets better, guys. It does. I'm, it really I'm, does. If y'all haven't graduated high school better, it, it gets yeah, better. Yeah, if, if, it, if it doesn't get better, guys, y'all, y'all need you're to doing talk to something someone. wrong. Yeah, you need to talk you, to somebody. You need to do something, step your game up, because yeah. you're doing something wrong. Yeah. I get by Call of Duty. A hundred, yeah, no <laughs> shit. Sixty five bucks, guys. Sixty five bucks will improve your life. Yeah, and you Jesus. can meet people and everything. It's now, fucking fantastic. Some of these kids think like we do, though. Oh yeah. Did you notice the guys bringing the keg up through the window? Oh yeah. That I, shit was fucking ingenious. I had alcohol at my prom. Yeah. Yeah, I snuck oh, alcohol. Yeah, everybody prom. does. That's, yeah. that's a rite of fucking, passage. Yeah, nobody's fucking catching me with that shit. And the best way to do it though is get the give them the easy to find one, and you have another one smuggled somewhere else. So they pull the one they think you got. No, what you do is you get really cool with the audio video guys. Hey, I hope some teachers of mine are listening to this from yeah. years and years ago. You get some uh, people that are uh, in the audio video club where they bring in that fucking cart with all the mechanical equipment and you put your shit in there. Nice. And they roll it into the fucking prom without being That's checked. Legit. Without ever being That's fucking legit. checked. Uh, okay, let's talk about the incompetence of police in every horror movie we <sighs> ever watch, ever, any giving fucking time. Why does it take three days? Three fucking days. I it have that. Three fucking days for them to notify the police agency that handled the original complaint that this psychopathic murderer who has killed three people has escaped and is probably going back yes yes what the fuck how were people escaping mental hospitals that much i know that's a lot dude I like I, a lot. it happens a lot <laughs> <laughs> like way more than it should and i know you know without that we don't have a fucking movie yeah. but dude, does it just mean does he have like a real big charlie manson thing going before they cut his hair yeah yeah he did yeah, he did. Oh, good God. And he's like, he fucking Clark Kennedy that shit. Like, he took off the glasses and nobody could identify him anymore. He was he disappeared into the fucking wind. He went into a phone booth. He's like, where's that? He's gone. I don't know where he went. I want to see one movie where uh, I, I want a, a disgruntled worker at a psychiatric hospital. Like, you know what? Fuck it. Leave and just open doors and walk out. Right? That would be a great start to a horror movie. It'd be great. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. Fuck, Fuck everybody. Fuck the boss. Everybody. I quit. Yeah, but it took three days for them to notify the the arresting agency that this fucking lunatic has escaped and uh, he's already killed another person and stolen a car. Yeah, Jeez. So wait, Jesus. So wait, they all get to the prom and they get this one this one basic bitch that they don't like, Chrissy. That's her, her her dad paid for the prom. So <laughs> what does he do for a living? Right. I don't have a hundred thousand dollars to spare for a prom. Did you notice? I forgot what she told. Oh. She complimented her dress and called her a basic bitch. Yeah. In her compliment. Yeah. That's fucking fantastic. That was great. It was a backhanded compliment. I fucking loved it. That's that was, fucking it was fantastic. fucking it was smooth. Oh, it was God. so fucking smooth. The writing, as far how, as how I was she, concerned. How she said, how I don't she, remember how she said it, but I know. Somebody, your dress is very simple. It just suits like, you. It suits you. Yeah. yeah. Very smooth. Oh, oh, my homie. Very fucking smooth. I'm not mad at that at all. But then she walked off and went and drank some pumpkin spice vodka and, and she yeah. lost all her respect. I got to say, though. That was a badass prom. <laughs> well, it, it better fucking be for all the money they spent for that prom. I'm talking shit about how much money they spent. If they'd have thrown us a prom like that, I'd have partied I'm my ass I'm just saying, off. The, these people are uh, very lax with their fucking prom shenanigans as well. When I went to high school prom, and this was, I'm not even going to put a date on this. It was a long time ago. Long when time I went ago. To my high fucking school. long time ago. When I went ago. to my fucking high school prom. I was in middle school. You and your date were not allowed outside of the chaperone area because yeah, they no. knew you were going fuck. Yeah. Everybody knew. Like, they did this in a hotel. They did this in a hotel. Is that common elsewhere? People, because uh, usually we do it in like a high school gym yeah. or something and a lot of places around or everywhere like a, that I've seen. No, nah, we did it in the, um, or, or even a hall. We did it in a, a hall. A yeah. hall or something. Senior prom, yeah. Um, yeah, because my senior prom, I want to say, was a, it was in uh, a, a rec center. Yeah, ours but, was at a hall. But most of those times, they have like the teacher like, look, y'all be on high alert. These kids, they're going to be fucking. Yeah. You need to stop them from walking out. These kids are just That's really, why really, most proms down here, you don't stay at the prom. You go, you show your you face. Show if your you're face, not on the court, then you leave. You fucking leave. I didn't stay at my prom. We were at the no. fucking prom for maybe a half hour, then we were at the party for the rest of the night. Yeah, you sneak off. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking they, fantastic. They, they just set these kids up. Just, you know how many babies they had nine months after this movie? I know there was at least a couple that weren't there. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. They didn't get that far. Poor guy. He tried so hard. He had a damn dude, ring. What's up with the fucking, speaking of the creepy man, fucking with a 13-year-old, what's up with the dudes in the elevator? 
Yeah, not cool, guys. That's not, not cool at all. Not fucking cool at all. You know they're at prom, so you, that you, means they're automatically underage. You know damn well you're, that they're, oh, there's a prom going on downstairs, and some girls get in the elevator wearing formal dresses. Hey, how are this is, yeah, this isn't a bridal shower. Yeah, this, this no, is, this is a high school this prom. This is a high school guys. prom, bro, and you're fucking you're throwing game and you, at and underage you guys, girls. You guys are not even in college anymore. No. You guys are up there. That's middle aged white men. Oh yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's there's a lot of creeps, low key pedophilish things that happen in this fucking movie, a lot. But, but anyway, he your boy Fenton, he kills uh. He kills the housekeeper so he yeah. can get the master key after Which he is a slick move. After a very slick move. After he overhears uh, at the counter what room they're gonna be in. Yeah. So he gets the master key, he finds out they're in room. Starfield three. just listening, that was my coffee cup hitting the speaker. Yeah, hitting the, the microphone. I'm off the key It was room uh room three twelve and he kills the housekeeper and kinda goes back and forth. Um they had some really intense moments in this fucking movie that I really enjoyed. One of my absolute well, you know what? I'm gonna put two of them that really stuck out to me as something that I loved in a fucking movie is one they did like similar to a Michael Myers reveal in the closet. That, How deep was that fucking closet? That black hat when he was bent down and he had his head was down, you couldn't see his face, and when he lifted his face up and you got the reveal. Yes. That was fucking awesome. It that was, was legit. very well done. Very well done cinematography. I absolutely yeah. fucking love that. Uh, the second one that I really, really loved, and this was back. Uh, this is back in two thousand eight. I think we've seen this a couple times since then. But the guy not touching her, just reaching towards her, and just barely, and not barely touching not. Her. not it's, touching almost, her. it's almost like I'm not it's touching like, ah, you. Can't get mad. <laughs> can't get mad. That is fucking creepy. Hey, dude, let's talk about Donna's boyfriend real quick. Okay. Because she's going away to college. Yeah. He wants to go to a different college. Yeah. She wants him to come with her. Yeah. Or she wants to go with him. She wants to go with him. She wants to turn down her- Sweetheart, uh, I'm sorry. No. I hate to break it to you. Don't. He's trying to bang other chicks. Yeah, that's his Despite way Despite what saying, he's saying- He can say whatever the hell he wants. His whole thing is, I'm about to be in college with a bunch of single co-eds. I don't need to be in a relationship right now. Right? That's what he's he, thinking. He's trying to bang other women. He can say it as nice as he wants that, no, what you got going is too good. Yeah, yeah. No, he's seeing all the booty he can get. He's had Look, what you had to offer. I am not saying that high school loves never grow up and bloom into full fucking things. I'm staring, at a, guy, my, yeah. I'm staring at a guy who fucking did it. However, the majority of times, usually when something, when he's trying to low key let you down like that, that's the that's his. Uh, it's not you, it's me type of thing. <laughs> that's exactly what that was. Yeah, that's not, exactly what that no, was. No, we're gonna be together forever. Yeah, he's probably upset that she didn't die, and then he died. So. Whatever. Yeah, he he's trying to get stop you from being clingy. I, I, stop! I wouldn't want to be in a relationship with her after that anyway. I wouldn't want to be friends with her. I wouldn't no want to shit. know her. But hey, who's that? Don't talk to her. Here's Keep the walking. thing. Here's the thing. You're not. You're not. What's the thing? You're not our best friends. I'd like to think. Yeah, sure. If your family had been murdered in the past <laughs> by a psychopath who's still alive, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I know what the fucker looks like. Yeah. Y'all are having. We're having a lot of fucking conversations about that. Lisa, you know exactly. Lisa, who the fuck you're killing is. me. Yeah. Lisa, you're killing me. You should. You dropped know her that. off at home that night, so you should be. You, that this should have been. Oh, that could have been me. You should have been looking at this fucker like, oh my god, he could have killed me if I went in there with him. Not just that, but I remember the faces of <coughs> of all of my fucking high school teachers till this fucking day. Yeah. If I run into them at Walmart, I'm like, oh hey, how you doing, Miss So and So? I've no even. Oh, you changed your hair, but you still look like you. Yes. Okay. Now multiply that times ten thousand because this man just murdered a bunch of people. He's all over the fucking news. Yeah. This little small town that just got rocked. Everybody knows what the fuck yep. this dude looks like. Fuck you with the oh he shaved. He's different. No. I'm gonna keep this mustache until y'all don't remember what I look like, and then I'm gonna change. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna introduce myself to someone new. <laughs> right. Okay. So back to Lisa. Can we all agree, ladies, that when you're running from a fucking psycho killer, take off the goddamn shoes and run forward. Yeah. What is with the, or the backwards? Or if you find a badass hunt, run it, uh, if you find a find a badass hiding spot, stay there. Stay there until help comes. Uh, do whatever you got to do. Or fine, there was enough construction going on there. She could have found some a tool, some a tool, weapon, a fucking wrench, a hammer, a crowbar. Yeah, take lessons from the chick on Evil Dead. Yeah. Grab a fucking nail gun, something. Something. There is something there that you could have fucking grabbed. And look, I, and again, high school girl freaking out. There's a psycho yeah. killer. But I, I, I get it. I get it. But just look at your options and stop running in high heels. And stop Why are backwards. there birds in there? I don't know. Apparently, it's not closed in well, all the way. You would think it's closed in somewhat. The rest of the hotel is so open. You got to have bad weather. It's going to get fucking everything's going to get rotten in there. 
It's a movie. I don't know. How are there fucking birds in here? They were, I, maybe they got trapped in. They locked, they locked the birds. I don't <laughs> what know. What the fuck? I don't know. There's birds flapping around. Scares the shit out of her. Good jump scare. I was waiting for the was chick from Home animal. Alone 2 to come out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> fucking nice. I'm throwing my bird. I'm feeding my birds. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God. But anyway, uh, this dude fucking... Dude, especially given the fact that he started sending her letters after he was incarcerated, which yeah. they've already got a fucking... Uh, Oh, God, what do you call him? Restraining order against this dude. Well, obviously. But, well, I mean, yeah, you just murdered her family and everything. But he sent in their fucking letters. You would think that uh, that cop would be involved a little bit more. Right. In that. Like, it's still an ongoing thing. He's still sending her letters and shit. Like, you hit. Don't give me stuff. D- dude, okay, first off, fuck that show. No, oh, yeah. Everybody's no, the, evacuating. Yeah, no. Let me fuck get out. Dude, I can come back and get the show. We know it's not a fire. Yeah. So I can come back to my room and get my shawl. Why the fuck go up there and get the shawl? Another thing. How is like SWAT or something not fucking clearing this hotel? I I don't know. There was a lot of negligence on police. How did y'all not? Look, wouldn't you c- imagine if you're looking for someone fucking very specific that you would pay a little bit more attention to who is walking out of the hotel? Because yeah. your boy just changed his clothes and walked oh, out. Oh, he Michael Myers that shit. Just, he, yeah. He h 2 would that. He was probably still holding the fucking knife in his hand. Yeah. 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 And, he h 2 would that shit. And just walk the fuck out. Everyone's out. They're all clear. Who talks to the cop? I don't know how police normally do this, but you would think the SWAT teams would come in. Well, usually, isn't that what SWAT teams are for? Yeah. I got always Colin Farrell do some gangster shit. I'm just saying. And not even alert them to turn the alarm off. Just go in and start doing your checks and go up the floors and start clearing the hotel that way. Look, everybody, open the door. Excuse me. Hey, you, come out. Everybody out. (laughs) You would think, but no. But this, of course, gives Fenton enough time to kill another uh, employee of the hotel. Oh, that poor fucking dude and there. And stash his body in the fucking vent. That, that was crazy, though, because your boy's like, <laughs> have you seen, I forgot her name already. Um, Who, Lisa? No, oh, Donna. No, no, the fucking, uh, the. Oh, uh, the, the maid. Housekeeper. You're talking about the housekeeper? Uh, yeah. I forget her fucking name. Uh, was she, she wasn't an integral no part of the store. Yeah, she wasn't an integral part of the story. Yeah. I don't remember so her anyways, name. anyways, he actually seen her and he says, like, oh, yeah, she's right here turning on my bed. Yeah, creepy as fuck. I'm sorry. No. Why is she in your room right now? Here's the thing. Oh, well, he said he's turning she's turning on the bed. That's what they do. Yeah, that's fantastic. He wasn't in his room. Well, he opened his door and he goes, Oh, she's right here. Oh, yeah. They even But how do you not get the doorway and look in and go, Where? Where? Or how do you not hey hurry up, come out here, we're looking for you. Yeah. And hey, she is your battery in your radio dead? Yeah, she doesn't answer, but he's just like, Fuck it, I'm gonna walk in the room with this man. He seems nice. Seems right. inno- innocuous enough. I'm not going to get murdered. Fuck you, dude. I'm sorry. This whole thing with competent police, we wouldn't have a horror genre. Right. Yeah, I really and then she goes for the thing of hiding under the bed again, which worked. It worked last time. Here's so the thing. You it, worked this you time. it worked this time. But how'd you not notice the body? Not just that. <laughs> he When he walks past you and gets in the other room, take the ass. fuck off running. He broke through the door like fucking Michael Myers in Halloween okay. Resurrection. How the hell did he get out of that room, though? Did he go through the vents in that room? Yeah. He, he must did. have. Yeah, he had to. Oh, I don't know if he did or not. Oh, yeah, he must have. I bet he went through the vents. He had to have. Yeah. He almost had to have. There's no other fucking way. He may have. Uh, dude, uh, dude, incompetent ass police. We wouldn't have a horror genre without it at all because it's the only way that these people continue to be out. Well, how about oh, fucking God. poor old Eddie over there? Uh, was his detective whatever the fuck? Uh, oh yeah he's a fucking idiot the doc- guy told him he's like go in there and check the house he's not here he's gone go and check them oh they're fine yeah well how does he cut the fucking telephone line without, next to your car without that guy hearing or seeing at all it's next at, to his car it's right next to his fucking car why is there not a cop in the house you would think that's not really like the protective custody that you think of when you hear that police are putting you in protective custody we said this for summer of 84 yeah and in the 80s, I kind of get it. That yeah. shit was lax back then. Crazy shit happened. Yeah. You can kill people and like just fucking change your name and nobody knew who you were no more. It was fine. This is fucking... This, this is 2008, two, man. Yeah. No. Sorry. It doesn't fly nowadays. Yeah, dude. Like, how's somebody not in the fucking house, at least until this guy is caught, or you give it a couple weeks? I could see if this was two <laughs> weeks down the road where... Like, okay, he, he must have left. We haven't seen him. We haven't found him. Yeah. It's been two weeks. 
Which we're still going to watch your house, we're but still, we're not going to be not inside. Gonna, we're not going to be inside. Yeah. And who goes to sleep after that? I, that was my thing. How do you sleep when he's still out there? You I said that for summer of 84. There's you no fucking caught, way There's I'm no way I'm sleeping. As a parent, there's no. I'm sleeping in my. I'm sitting in my kid's a, room with a shotgun. Especially like people the Garden Halloween 4. Who have already fucking done this before. They've already been through it. The sister, that, that was the aunt and uncle. Like, they've already witnessed this fucking murder spree from this same fucking guy. Yes. Let's go to sleep. We'll be all right. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I don't think he's coming here. We have cops outside. And they've done a smashing job so far. Right? I, I, I don't get it. And here's the thing. I don't either. The only negative about this movie is the cops. That's yeah, my only cop, negative. The cops are incompetent. The cops are incompetent. They're very incompetent. But like I said, without would a cop and a police officer, you, you, wouldn't wouldn't have a have, movie. you wouldn't have a movie. Yeah. Because they didn't play, hey, you escaped. Wait, there he is. And that's it. Movie. Roll credits. We're done. So, hey, real quick, <laughs> do you agree with me that this is an above average movie? This is this is absolutely an above average movie. I gave okay. a lot of, uh, we had a conversation a little bit earlier. We try not to talk about movies off of the air because we don't want to yeah. stifle any comments that we would okay. make on the air. I think that is it is kind of cliched cookie cutter, but I did like. I like the premise. I liked the premise. It's good it kills. Was, it was okay. They had some. That's some decent kills. Some decent kills. Your bad guy was a very uh, menacing. Yes. Very good bad creepy. guy. He was I'm very you, he had that Manson shit. vibe, dude. He had that fucking Manson vibe, hardcore. Yeah. I just um, want to know what the fuck he taught at school. You ready? To, we were already 25, 26 minutes in, 25 minutes in. Yeah. You ready to go on a rant? Uh, sure. Audience score for this movie. It's probably low. I'm not even going to be surprised. 38%. Jesus. 38? You know what the Rotten Tomatoes score for this movie is? It's lower? It better not be lower than like some seven percent. That's lower than uh. That's lower than repossessed, isn't it? No, repossessed was a zero. I think. No. Yeah. Okay. No. Which one was a fucking nine? Oh, I'm gonna go through it real quick. Talk real quick. Yeah, but there was there was a few. I just don't. Uh, We're slowly turning into a. I hate Rotten Tomatoes. This was less than Halloween Resurrection. Really, Halloween Resurrection was bad, guys. It really was. I, I genuinely want to have a fucking discussion about this. I really do want to have a conversation where y'all send us what y'all are rating these movies based this was, upon. It was really less than Halloween 6, but I'd rather Halloween 6, too, though. Uh, I, I'm okay with Halloween 6. That, see, that one doesn't surprise me. The, the one that's gonna, that we already know is that fucking Sharknado rated higher than this one. Oh, yeah. Urban yeah. Legend was higher than this. Oh, well, Urban Legend was good. I really want to know the basis for what what these movies are being rated upon is it just a fucking feeling you're like no nah, fuck that movie i didn't i didn't have a good time and you just shit on it because of personal opinion which you scary know, movie three was higher than this yeah jesus christ which movies are subjected you're you're entitled to your opinion people are going to like different fucking things but you can't shit in the face of a well-produced well-directed well-edited and cut together movie and you can't look at that and say oh this is a piece of shit it had a decent story yes it was far different from the original but this is remake. It's a fucking remake. It's supposed to be a lot different. They're supposed to have new elements introduced into it, which I think that they did. <laughs> they did a good job of. What are you laughing at? <clears throat> My last one that I'm going to the last uh, two that I'm going to say real quick. I probably um, don't want to know. Terrifier. <clears throat> How, Nightmare 4 and 5 are rated higher than this. See, this is a better movie. It really is. Now, I get the... the Freddy Krueger aspect of that because everybody loves Freddy Krueger. He's a fucking icon. So they're going to rate a lot of Freddy Krueger movies higher. Dream Child? It, it, Dream Child was a, was a pile of garbage. That was a hot fucking mess. It was all over the damn place. Dream this Child was, was really This was at this. least very well. There wasn't, a, there was not a great deal of loopholes in this movie. The movie tied together, other than the fucking long ass intro, which I couldn't stand, the movie itself, it progressed naturally. They tied up all loose ends. Everything was fucking... In there, I wish we would have got a little bit more exposition to get to know the kids a little bit more. The movie was only like an hour and a half. Uh, you didn't really get to uh, d- develop a, a real yeah. thought process about a lot of the characters. But they did do everything that they could to lead you on those fucking rants. Like, um, your boy with the fucking ring. Yeah. The college issues back and forth. Um, all of these things that just kind of, those little nods to and where you're trying to. the thing is, they did it naturally to, 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 the, it, to It didn't feel like it was forced. That, yeah. It wasn't forced anywhere inside the movie. That's why everything kind of progressed really naturally. And I, I really do think that. I, what, where are you going at with a rating? Like I said, this is above average movie. Um, but the, the cops, you had to. This was one of those plots where you had to make the cops so incompetent to make it work. Yeah, the only thing they didn't do was the fucking music from Halloween 5. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
I don't know. I'm thinking 36. 34. Yeah. I'm actually going to 34. It's above average, but I mean, it's it's a movie I'll probably watch again. My wife loves this movie. I would watch it again. It's not a bad movie. There's just some things. It, it doesn't have it doesn't have that appeal that draws me into no, it. It just doesn't. No. But it, it but it was well directed. It was well put together. It had a decent concept. Um, they didn't leave a lot of loopholes. Everything was pretty much spoken for, and it really did feel natural. Yeah. Um, a lot of the the writing did not feel clunky. It all felt nope, it, it all felt very it natural. It flowed well. Yeah, it, it was all very, very organic, and it seemed like it, you were just watching some people go on a prom, yep. and it didn't seem like anything was forced. Exactly. Um, so now I gotta say, I'd much rather this this plot than the original prom night. The original prom night. See, I know the plot from the original. I've never actually seen the original, which you know, sorry for me, I'm a hypocrite. I'm talking about horror movies, and I've never seen the original one. But that was also fucking 1980, uh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you ever seen the original, guys, y'all, guys out there know this. The original is so fucking. It's filmed so dark that you can barely see anything on it. Like it? it's it's fucking weird, man. It was it was a the, the it's probably done intentionally. Dialogue was effect. clunky. Yeah, it was. Well, it was also fucking eighties, dude. Yeah, I mean, was, dialogue was a hell of a lot clunkier. The story back was in the day. dumb. The story was dumb. It wasn't scary. Yeah, it was more this like a, I actual, know. This was it was more like an I know what you did last time yeah, type of thing in the yeah. original. This one actually had some tension moments in it that fucking ramped up. Yeah, it did, and I enjoyed it. It was very, very creepy. So yeah, I'm 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 gonna sit comfortable at 34. Yep. I'm good with that. I'm good with I'm, I'm going 36. So all right, guys, all right, guys, make sure that oh shit, find oh, us on oh shit. You don't know where we're at. Yeah, find us on YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Pandora, Google Podcast, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, and Amazon. Amazon Podcasts. Music Podcast. <laughs> we're officially there, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Y'all know to do like, subscribe. Hit the bell, send us some mail. If you don't like us, tell us go to hell. That's ooh, nice. Well done, sir. <laughs> well done. All right, we're out of here. Bye.